Hi guys, this is Sam. We're going to be talking about Us by Jordan Peele, the horror movie coming out this coming Friday. It's really exciting. I've got a few theories I'd like to share with you guys. And I would like to know if anybody else has come up with these theories that I have come up with this week. I'm going to jump right into these theories. I have a theory about this movie. And I looked all through the trailers and pinpointed certain pictures to show you guys just what I'm talking about. I came up with a theory that the carnival people that you see in this picture, the guy in the background and the guy on the right, I'm not sure if it's her father or a carnival guy, but I think they have a big part to do with the tethered and the movie and how they become the tethered. I think that they visited the carnival when they were young and they either abducted them or did something to them that caused the tethered to exist. They did some sort of experimentation or magic and now... I know magic seems ridiculous for this type of movie, but I found a few things that actually seem to make sense when it comes to the magic part. But this right here is no coincidence. Those two are the same people, the dude in the background and the dude on the right. They are the same people, so the people at the carnival have a part to play. Now I also think that either the friend, the wife, and the husband that are friends, I think they either have something to do with it or they're going to be trying to help the family in some way. But this right here tells me that the husband of that guy, the friend, he also has a tethered, or that is him and he's evil. And he's in on it, and he's also trying to kill them. Maybe it's all some sort of mental experiment. Now, this in the background says Merlin's Forest, that building in the background behind the boy. That building is the same freaking building as the flashback you get with the mom as a little girl right here it says vision quest find yourself the one the other one says merlin's forest find yourself is it that has a big part to do with it everybody has been so focused on these these other things that i don't think they're realizing that the carnival is a huge part of this um that those two this that specific place has a big part to do with the movie and whatever they find inside of there, excuse me. <clears throat> so Merlin, um, he was no magician, but he made an army vanish. Merlin was the most famous fictional wizard of them all. Was actually a 6th century warrior king living in northern England, according to New Biography. And this is just some background on Merlin and who he is, but he was a wizard. So magic, I mean, I'm thinking magic. You know, they've got rabbits showing up in the in the movie. I'm thinking magic has a big part to do with this. Maybe these people are a part of some sort of magical cult that feel they have to do this for some sort of leader. Or, or you know what I mean? It says Merlin is a legendary figure best known as an enchanter or wizard. So, just to clarify again, um, he basically was a man who had control. He had power. He was somebody who had an influence, whether he was real or not. He, you know, even in Merlin's story, he helped King Arthur, and King Arthur didn't even know he had magical powers. So, I'm thinking magic might play a big part in this movie. It's a crazy theory, but... I'm I'm leaning towards it. <clears throat> the scissors are also a big part in magic. The scissors in this movie, I think, represent cutting ties, just like everybody else really has come up with that theory, you know, the tethered cutting ties, you know. But um, scissors are also something that every magician holds in their pack. Um, I think the scissors cutting the two people in half in that picture with the bunch of people with paper you know holding hands they I think that they are signifying maybe cutting people in half like magicians do possibly it sounds ridiculous but I have a feeling that there's just a lot of symbolism going on in this movie masks as well play a big part in magicians and magic you know sometimes magicians wear masks or they use masks in their tricks um So you see the little boy is wearing a mask, obviously, in the trailer. And then the tethered little boy is also wearing a mask. So I know it's it's a really weird out there theory, but I've connected a few dots that just seem like they might have something to do with the theme of magic or maybe like dark magic. 
or a curse or just something that has to do with that. I also think that it's experimentation. It's magic experimentation. So mental health, playing, manipulating, brainwashing. Um, that picture right there is one of those pictures that a therapist shows you and says, what do you see, you know? So I also, th- yeah, I think the little girl as a mom was taken or abducted or something happened to her. And it caused these events to happen in the future. So, I don't really know how out there this video is, but we're going to see. The movie's coming out soon, and I'm super excited to see it. So let me know what you think. Um, if you think this is a crazy theory, tell me I'm crazy. If you've thought the same thing, let me know. If you have other theories, drop them below. Give me a like, comment, or subscribe, guys. Thanks so much. I'm sorry. This is one of my newish type videos, so we're going to see how this works out.